Hi guys, this is my second Halloween journal. Um, I wanted to take you along. And here's, I just put a, um, an orange ribbon. And I just, I'm going to put a nameplate on it. Just like I did the other one. Like this. I'm going to put a nameplate on it. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I just have to print out the word journal. And I'm going to leave it plain because this is too cute to cover up. So this is my second one. And inside it's got... This is funny too because it says bite me up over here. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. So it, in, the, in, the, in here I got a little Halloween cutout. And you can just journal on that page. Um, a little piece of that. It's the same book from the other journal I showed you. And I got some stickers from... Chipboard stickers from scrapbook.com. I put this little ticket thingy in there. It just looks like that. Um, I have this. This was part of the book. I liked it. And I put it on there with, with a spider web and some skull washi tape and inside is the creepy dolls i put those that couple in there the halloween creepy doll um paper dolls tim holtz i have this again it says hey boo uh home sweet haunted home so i used a lot of these stickers from that pack and then on the other side i have this pretty lace i loved it but i only had a little bit of it and then just a little fabric flip. I got this kind of lace on it. And then this, the candies. And the little pumpkins there. Halloween, spooky ghosts, trick or treat boo. Haunted night, moonlight, just a cutout. The Tim Holtz 31, and I just made like a little collage thing with a sugar skull. Happy Boo Day to you. And it says trick or treat. And over here, it's got I got some Halloween sayings from Tim Holtz, and it says the dead hour of the night, a wicked thing. And I just got um, one of these little vintage Halloween thingies, stuck that in there. And Again, with these, I used them all, so that's good. I hate buying things and then not using it. Trunk or treat. More of that book page. I have... I put this together. Can I see it? Right here. I put this candy corn together to match the journal, and it's on both sides. I stuck one on there, and they're glittery. I got them from, I think... I think I got them from... Hobby Lobby, a couple of years ago, they were like 37 cents or something. i never seen them before, and then all of a sudden they were in clearance for like 37 cents or something like that. So I used that. Creep It Real. Use some stickers. Chipboard stickers. This says Happy Halloween, and I just put a little flip there. It's nothing really. It's just a little, cute little flip. Um, that says Halloween, and then it says, Then suddenly a strange thing happened. And this is Return, Return Wanderers. And I got just a couple little things in there. Glass, Handle with Care. I don't know why I put that in there, but I did. And just another little vintage image. I just stuck those in there. I don't know. Happy Haunting. Another piece of that book. The Slither Sisters. I'm just here for the candy. I actually have a stamp that says, I'm just here for the booze, B-O-O-S. That was funny, but I didn't put it in my Halloween journals this year. Just two little cute hearts here. Polka dots. Um, this is just like another, I had some extra little, um, you know, pieces of Halloween paper, patterned paper, and I just kind of stuck them there with a little owl. And another one, this trim. Witches, goblins, and ghouls. Oh my. Um, I put this little guy there. It was more of the Halloween paper dolls. And I had that little frame. And I put him in there like that. 
This says October, and it says the strangeness of the incident, the jack-o'-lantern. And then I put this little vintage thing. Look like black cat, how cute. And then I put that odometer thing. I don't, I don't know why. Again, I don't know why. I just stick these things in here. It really doesn't have anything to do with Halloween. And that sticker. Let's boo this. Candy. Another piece of the book. Trick or treat. And a little witch's hat. Again, just using up my scraps. It says mischief. Things are not what they seem. Established in 1876 with another cute little vintage little piece of ephemera I made there. And there's some stickers right there. And it says best witches. And again, use that. It's it's nice. I like it. I'm glad I used it up. Here's another journaling spot right there. Not like you have no room in my journals anyway to write. Um, this is it looks it looked like there was like a toad in that book, so I put eye of newt and toe of frog. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it went well. This is the little coffin I made for in here. You just take it out, and it says ghost. And it's got a spider and it says the fragile texture of a spider's web and i just put all this trim around here it's an orange color but it's kind of like a deep bright so it's orange but you know if you compare it to this orange you know obviously it's got more red in it but it is orangey i'll stick that back in here i like that little coffin matter of fact i have a couple of them i might put one in the other book too because I have a spot open. I didn't know what to do for that. I should put the coffin in there. That's the time to use them. So. Then this says something dreadfully wicked. Night falls. Days and nights. Has 31. And it's got this little vintage thing here. And then a little register number tag there. Here's another fabulous. Sorry, fabulous. And you just got a little thing here. It's Tim Holtz things, the tiles, boo, and it says wonderful secret. It's got that cute cat. And just a couple more vintage things I put in here. These two images and just some scrap right there that I had. Stick those back in there. Kind of have it poking out a little bit. Official candy collector. Yeah, some of these cutouts I wasn't that impressed with. And I'm just here for the treats. And that's it. That is this journal. So, I'm going to put the nameplate on it tomorrow. I made these because the craft fair is coming up. I wanted to make sure I had a bunch of all kind of stuff. But also for my shop because I sold uh, the other two Halloween journals I had up there already. So I had to do more for my inventory. And one lady just purchased five journals. She purchased two, two weeks ago. And then last week she purchased another three. I was like, oh my God. So, I have a fan, ladies and gentlemen. Well, actually, I just said ladies. I don't think too many gentlemen would watch this. Actually, on my, um, on this YouTube studio, I don't think, I think it says 0% for male watchers. So, yeah, I think you all are ladies. So, that was for today. So, thanks for watching. Happy crafting, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.